You can't even smile, your face goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McCarthy, don't be at that price. Is that some of the city people? Huh? Oh, that's what I'm He's made for that's the front of my head. You've been going. Hello, Joseph. Yeah. Well, two minutes out of the schedule and about 25 minutes time.
On the summit of Snowden. <laughs> we have to Come imagine on. what we can see. Come on, Joe. <laughs>
occupied by the Cheshire County Police Headquarters. The new building, completed in 2010, is still known as HQ and already received a prestigious award. Many Roman artefacts were unearthed during the building. To the right is Chester's Weir, which was built in the 11th century by Hugh Lupus, the first Norman Earl, who owned the D Mills, which once stood on the river bank to the left of the bridge gate ahead. The water from the weir provided the necessary power for turning the mill wheels. Designed by Joseph Turner, it was built in 1782 to replace the medieval gate that once stood there. It is sometimes known as the Welsh Gate because in the past it was the only route into Chester from North Wales. The stonework's large and if you look further down you can see some more of it with the one here. And after the Roman Empire collapsed, the Royal Empire is built, it's not anywhere. Now, what about the walkway along the top where you can see people walking down? ...by the 20th region and was employed as a military fortress for about 300 years. The Romans named the fortress Diva, a Celtic word meaning Holy One, which is thought to have been a reference to the River Dee, as the Romans associated their river to the river is used mainly for leisure purposes today. But further downstream below the weir, Salmon fishing still takes place commercially. The resting place of many interesting characters. Mary Jonas died when she was 85 and was buried here in 1899. Mary had 33 children, which included 15 sets of boy-girl twins. The highest number ever recorded and consequently this event has its place in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> The ladies on the bus might like to know that Mary never ever suffered from that dreaded female complaint, the headache. <laughs> it is known by the residents as Noah's Ark and was built to be Chester's new scout headquarters. In total contrast on the right is the...
a man shot in a car farm house last week. Any good news? Uh, <laughs> huh? No. I don't know whether. Let me have a look around see. Behind the palm trees on the left hand side we've got the Bristol Colonnades, known as the Bristol Colonnades purely because they came from Bristol. Bristol being heavily bombed and damaged in the Second World War, Sir Clough got in touch with the relevant authorities, he bought them and he rebuilt them here. And he said in his later days, when I'm gone, when I'm passed away, I'd like to look down in the village. Well, there's a bricked up doorway on the left hand side with two little heads sticking out the wall, the one on the right is an image of Sir Clough. He lived to the ripe old age of 95, passing away peacefully in his bed in Place Brondano back in 1978. He was cremated and there were several firework displays here in the village during that period. And the family decided, with the help of the firework company, that club's ashes would be put into the rockets and up he went. This was literally oh. scattered by the whole village. It was a fitting end for him, there was no other way for him to go. He was not a religious man and he probably noticed we're a Mediterranean village that we don't have any churches or religious buildings here. The building in the centre here with the pink wall, that's the mermaid, the original gardener's cottage, again dating back to the 1850s. And if we look to the right, there's a white building with a lower yellow section, the angel. It looks an old Georgian building, but it was built from scratch, 1926, 27, using parts of the buildings. Again, that's the way the architecture works. Things have been chopped and changed and stuck together here. You know, everything here is accommodation, everything here is grade two listed. We'll make our way now to the centre of the square, we can bring the tour to a gradual end. This way, the other. Yeah, you see, the bombs are on the way. Yes, goodness. You do some pictures, really. I don't bring the camera anymore. Oh, do you ask me? Yes, yes. Have it in your mind's eye. Oh, that's lovely, there, you know. He does. He's very modest. Handy little. Good evening. You may see a stranger. You may see a stranger across a crowded room. And somehow you know, you know even then, that somehow you'll see her again. 
Some enchanted evening Someone may be laughing You may hear her laughing Across a crowded room And night after night As strange as it seems The sound of her laughter Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons, wise men never try. Some enchanted evening when you find your true love when you feel her call you across a crowded room then fly to her side and make her your own or all through your life you may dream of Found her, never let her go. There's a bar. And the nightingale sings round it all the day long. In the time of my childhood was light a sweet dream to sit in the roses and hear the birds song. That flower and its music I never forget, but oh, when I'm <laughs> in the bloom of the year, I think it's the nightingale season there yet, and the rose is bright. Hello, the rose as a soon wither that hung o'er the waves, but some blossoms were gathered. While frostly they stood Here we are And the dew was distilled from the flowers that gave All the fragrance of summer When summer it rose from delight where it dies An essence that breathes of it many a year Thus light to my soul as was then to my eyes Is the bowl on the banks of the Columbus Yeah. What do you think of the ministry experience? Girls give us a covenant interview. 
testimony Hello, Joe. for the interview. No. <laughs> He's ready to go. He's going to When we came in the gate, we came in at number one and we turned left. He's on the lookout. Never mind the ladies, keep going. We can't keep In Wales. Yeah, they're all just used to shape. Beautiful. There's sunlight on them.
for the interview. But, uh, and he is a uh, member of the totally unnecessary but I take it as a, a token of appreciation and it's nice to be appreciated. Thank you very much. I don't know about next year. I think uh, the best was saved to last. This has been a brilliant trip and we had a bonus of having good weather. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, after Christmas, if something comes in the post, or if somebody whispers in my ear, I may, I may take it on. Yeah. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Morning.
I've met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer, and I've no doubt there's truth in what they say. But you're a body's bound to be a dreamer when all the things he loves are far away. And precious things are dreams unto an exile that take him o'er the land across the sea. Especially when it happens he's in exile From that dear lovely isle of Inishri And when the moonlight peeps across the rooftops Of this great city, wondrous though it be I scarcely feel its wonder or its laughter. I'm once again back home in Inishri. I wonder all green hills through dreamy valleys and find a peace no other land could know. I hear the birds make music fit for angels and watch the rivers laughing as they flow. And then in a tune a humble shack I wander, my dear old home, and tenderly behold the folks I love around the turf I gathered on bended knee 